Excel Online is a version of Excel that runs in a web browser. And although it has less functionality than the desktop version, it's useful if you need to view or make simple changes to an Excel workbook and you happen to be using a computer that doesn't have Excel on it. If you or the company that you work for have a paid for Office 365 account or a free Microsoft account, then you have access to Excel Online. In March 2018, Microsoft added the ability to create pivot tables in a workbook to Excel Online. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to do it as well as explaining the limitations compared to the desktop version of Excel. Up to March 2018, you could open a workbook that contained a pivot table in Excel Online, but you couldn't actually create one from scratch. Another reason that this is such a big deal is that if you're using Excel on an iPad, the Excel app doesn't support creating pivot tables, which means that using Excel online is currently the only way to create a pivot table on an iPad. I've signed into my Office 365 account and I'll click on the Excel logo. I want to open a file called pivot table, which is stored in one of my OneDrive folders, but I want to open it in Excel Online. So I'll click on From OneDrive, select Files, select the folder, click in the little marker next to the file and click on Open, Open in Excel Online. To create the pivot table, select a cell in the source data, click on Insert Pivot Table. Excel picks up the data that it thinks you want to use. And in this case, that is the data I want to use. I want to tell Excel that I want to put the pivot table onto an existing worksheet, choose where I want the pivot table to go and click on OK. And then in this example, drag state into rows and revenue into values. And there we have a pivot table showing revenue per state. There are a few limitations. For example, double clicking on a cell doesn't do anything. In the full version of Excel, it lets you drill down to see the detail of the number that you clicked on. Right clicking a cell doesn't display the same menu that it displays in the desktop version. So if I wanted to change the numbers to display as a count or a percentage, for example, I need to click the drop down arrow in the value section and select value field settings and then I can choose how I want to summarize the data or how I want to show the data. And if I want to sort the data, I can't use the button on the ribbon. I have to click the drop down arrow in the top cell of the pivot table, select sort by value. And in this case, I'll select sort by sum of revenue, largest to smallest. So that's how to create a pivot table using Excel Online. Despite these limitations, it's nice to see that Microsoft have added the feature and I'm sure that they'll add more functionality in the future.